Hey everybody, we're so excited for you to join us in just 12 days for our wedding. We can't believe how quickly time has gone by. Hopefully you've seen Matthew's video regarding our cathedral and some details about what it's like and what you can expect when you walk in um, for our ceremony. And now going into the reception phase, sorry about the noise, we've got rush hour traffic. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Greek dance and uh, give you some of the basics of what's involved and what you can expect at our reception and hopefully you can learn some steps with me today to participate in all of the celebrations. So um, the main dance that you'll see most frequently at Greek festivals and Greek parties is called Kala Matiano um, and it's comprised of 12 steps, people hold hands and that's the one I'll be teaching you today. Um, and so there are others that you'll see at the reception and in other Greek party contexts. Uh, one of them is Tamiko, which is slower, and the men in the front do big sweeping kicks. Um, so one thing you should look out for is to steer clear. You don't want to get land a kick in the head. Um, and then there's another dance called um, Kasapiko, which if you know the Zorba song, that's the one that stands to that. So uh, we're going to focus on Kalamatiano today. Some basics regarding this dance and other ones um, in Greek culture are that we always stay connected in a line but how we hold on to each other may vary from dance to dance. So in this case, it's a handhold. Uh, you wanna kinda of keep your posture like this, and uh, as tempting as it may be, especially when you're learning to look down, you don't wanna be pulling on the person next to you because you wanna keep everyone's stamina up. So kind of carrying your own weight, um, it's not too difficult, just stay a little bit aware of that. And um, these dances do tend to move to the right, especially Calamatiano. So the front of the line is to the right, and the back is to the left. And uh, the person at the very front, the leader, tends to be someone who's very experienced with Greek dance, who likes the spotlight because there are lots of tricks and a lot of attention falls on that person. So when you're deciding where to join in during a dance or even at the beginning, you want to stay toward the middle to the end. Um, so we're going to start over here. I'm going to walk you through the footwork in chunks and um, remembering that we're going to be moving to our right. So I'm going to keep my hands up as if I were connected to people. And the first step, you're moving to the right, is going to be with your right foot. And the first step is one. Second step, number two, is behind. So two is here. And three resets us. So again, one is a little bit longer than the other two. We're going to hold it longer. So it's one, two, three. Now step four through a few more uh, actually walks in front like this. So it's four. And we're going to walk it out. Five, six, seven. So again, from the beginning, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, you can practice with me in your living room. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this next part of the dance is going to be back and forth. So we're here. Eight is going to be with your left foot, and it's going to go just in front of your right. So it's eight here. Nine is a rock step. You just pick your foot up and put it back. That's nine. And ten is back here. So let's go back from the beginning. Try that stretch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have eight. 9, 10, 2 more to go, 11 is lift and replace, and 12 crosses in front to restart. So let's try 1 through 12 together. Ready, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Hope you all saw how that worked. If you want to re-loop through this section without music, you're welcome to as many times as you'd like. But now Matthew's going to head over and cue up the music, and I'm going to show you how it pairs with instrumentation. And while he does that, uh, I want to let you know, for those of you that are musically inclined, the music for these dances tends to either be in 4-4 four, four time or 7-8. That meant nothing to me until Matthew told me. For the rest of you, it means we go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. All right, so Matthew's going to cue up the music. Okay. Sorry for the wobble. Ready? Ready. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and now Matthew's going to show you with me what it looks like when more than one person dances together. We'll see you all in a sec. Opa, 